can't imagine. Like I, I, I see those, uh, those uh, accounts that have a bunch of of followers, like in the thousands, you know, tens Whoa. of thousands. You should look at Little B, like the Base Gods Twitter profile. Yeah, it has he's following a million people. How? But how? One point five million you know, people follow him. That's that's he's, a man who doesn't people. actually check Twitter. He's one with the people. No. He is one with the when people. When you have that many people, you do not check Twitter. You don't you don't read anyone's stuff because what you usually do is like you mute them. Mhm. That's what they do. I mean, only they only have the people that are Yeah, but can you imagine the hassle of having to mute like everybody? Like 900 and uh 99,000 936 people <laughs> I don't know I feel honored because Lil B follows me on on Twitter <laughs> I feel honored and yet I muted him yeah. he he retweets way too much stuff man that's how I, that's how I feel most like of the the famous people are they retweet I mean they'll have like little like one sentence updates mainly on just what they're like, doing yeah mainly like like hip hop people on Twitter like they always retweet shit that's why I don't get down with the hip hop. They retweet their... subtweets for fuck's sake, man. Like quoted tweets, uh-huh. they retweet that. Like that doesn't make sense, man. Where's the context in that? You fucking <laughs> wanker. <laughs> you fucking wanker. <laughs> I'm gonna skip the introductions because I I don't really feel like talking about introductions right now all you really it's need episode to i don't know 11 oh yeah 11 mm-hmm. it's episode 11 <sighs> i am so tired right now <laughs> uh i played a little too much yakuza zero last night which i am jealous of because i still need to pick that up you need to man it's so much fun it's just a classic beat-em-up for the modern day it's beautiful the humor is great it's 1988. And you just rhymed. And congratulate. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to congratulate. Uh, I mean, they have discotheques in the game. The music is amazing. <laughs> I want, I want discotheques to still be a thing. Really? Because even when discotheques were a thing, people didn't want them to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, they're fucking lame. <laughs> discotheques are amazing. I wish I was actually born in that era just for discotheques, not for anything else. And then I come back to this day and age and then still be sad after what we dealt with this past week. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that, though. No. Nope. It has nothing to do with what we want to talk about. Speaking of immigration and banning, <laughs> 5,954 people were banned from online activities on Pokemon Sun and Moon this past week. That's uh, actually... Week. If you think about it, though, with all the amount of people that um, that play, five thousand is probably not a huge portion. Yeah, but the uh, the Pokemon Company announced that almost six thousand people, specifically that number I just previously said, have been banned from online activity for having altered save data. Ooh. Yeah, the ban Dude. prevents them from using Game Sync entering in raiding battles in battle competitions and participating in global missions. How how do they know there's altered save data though unless, you know, they've got to deal with the NSA. Uh Snowden's behind it. Oh no, dude, Snowden's for the people. He wouldn't betray us like this. You never know. <laughs> so it's like, fuck these guys. Play the game right. Snowden's a purist. Ban them. Ban them. <laughs> They promise to continue pursuing people who, with edited and illegal save data and will enact similar restrictions without notice. Illegal. But then again, would you feel kind of like shocked if you see a Pikachu and it knows how to, knows the, uh, the attack surf? Hey, there is a surfing Pikachu. But that's not a normal attack that Pikachu would they know. Made a, they made a Pokemon card about it and it was in Pokemon Snap, so yeah, it's a real in thing. Yeah, Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Band. Dude, I get you can get a Pokemon card from from uh, Evolutions. That's, I know, I I got one too. Yeah, I got one. It's it was just cool. Pikachu. All its all its only attack is Surf. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
stupid. See, just because you were born an electric type, don't let your dreams be dreams. You can become a water type. <laughs> do it! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> what is Shia LaBeouf up to nowadays? Well, that something happened political related with Shia LaBeouf. What? Yeah, I think he stopped, uh, uh, he started like, getting real close and like up personal with a guy who started yelling 14 so he's like wait why okay hold on why would he care that someone was yelling 14 at him 14 was just like a, a term for like what uh what nazis and like aryans would say it's like oh okay it's, it's like a racist it's like a racial term so but since shia LaBeouf being a jewish man mm-hmm. he's not He's not very happy about that. Yeah. And I agree why he wouldn't be happy about that. So he, like, beat the shit out of the dude? Like, no, he was, on? like, he didn't touch him. He was just, like, shoving him, like, while yelling. You know, like, the Shia LaBeouf thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he did. I mean, that's the last, and, that's what I've heard about him. And he's just taking a step back from the spotlight because of that? I mean. I don't know. Fuck, I don't Like, know. I, that's all I heard Sh- about Shia LaBeouf Shia, you're, lately. you're crazy, Shy. You're, uh, you're, you're that kind of, like, um. Uh, what was what's his name? I always blank on names. I am terrible with names. I'm absolutely horrid with names. Once you Charlie see that... Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Oh. Uh, he's that Charlie Sheen kind of crazy. No, because he only has one gear, and that's go. <laughs> well, no, the reason the reason I say that is because um, when Charlie Sheen had his whole thing about going off on Tiger Blood and all that bullshit. Um, tiger Blood. Yeah, Tiger Blood. Oh yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't know. But then he had the then he had the roast and he said his little his little speech at the end of his roast his Comedy Central roast of Charlie Sheen. Oh yeah, I, remember I was that. like, I bet this was a publicity stunt. He did all this on purpose. I kind of felt like Charlie did a little bit of like did that just to come back and to stay relevant by being crazy. Mm. Yeah, and I think be. I think Shy might be taking a kind of a little bit out of. Uh, little bit out of that playbook because i've seen him in things like you, you i showed you that video of uh of um it was called like a night with shia labeouf or something like that it was um it was that opera was, singing was about opera, yeah, yeah about shia labeouf like chasing you down he's an axe murderer uh-huh. and then at the end they have the scene from citizen kane but shia labeouf's actually in this <laughs> fucking random youtube video and he's just clapping. clapping about it i mean come on shia labeouf is obviously in on the joke he 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 knows that people think he's a nutso and he's playing up to that. That is true, but like in this in this specific video, mm-hmm. like during a live stream, like this was actually real. Oh no no no! no. That I absolutely you know I could totally see that because that's you know some dude being a fucking idiot, uh, and he's you know legitimately angry being of Jewish descent. Like you know the Holocaust didn't happen all that long ago. Mm-hmm. It, you know it's it's pretty recent history, human history. Yeah. Welcome to the Leftover Fruit Podcast, where we talk about video games in our personal lives. Yeah, you're talking about the Holocaust. Shia LaBeouf and the Holocaust. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's in the fine print. May Hi, sometimes how are you? talk about. How you doing? And I like how we we ended up doing an introduction, anyways. I know, right? <laughs> Just to get away from Holocaust talk. Yeah. So let's get away from that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing to do with video games at all. I think. Well, anyways, I mean, World War Two video games. No, well, that's true. Anyways, <laughs> this morning, uh, Square Enix announced that uh, they're teaming up with Marvel to make uh, a couple of games, and they announced that the first game that they're going to make is a Avengers game, and Crystal Dynamics is going to be behind it. Great. I look forward to playing it in, in about 12 years. Mm, well, it's Crystal Dynamics, <laughs> and so it's probably going to take like two years, because, you know, Square Enix really sucks at time cons- like not, sticking not time. to a deadline yeah, yeah they, they just take too fucking long mm-hmm. but when it comes to publishing games it's like oh perfect it's done what you want another Tomb Raider game next year alright fine that's good what another Sleeping Dogs game um fuck you um <laughs> not happening sleeping what now sleeping what man I'm sleepy oh dude fuck. oh dude you got a dog oh congratulations oh look that dog is sleeping oh you oh. have two sleeping dogs. dogs oh shit oh suck my oh you ass. were talking about a video game no sorry never heard of it never never, heard of, it, never heard of it I can't you know what company, what company? I don't, I don't oh. know what you're talking about 
Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. Oh, it's never too soon. I guess. Life is a joke. Make fun of it all the time. Life but, is a joke. Fuck you. Yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> Take the joke. Stop taking it so seriously. Yeah. You, you fuck. You pansy. And oh, as uh, the people say in Yakuza Zero, you candy ass. You candy ass. They say, "Oh man, that candy ass left." Dude, let's go to Best Buy after this. I want to get fucking a card and get Yakuza tonight. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh shit! <laughs> that was that was partially a joke. No, no. Like you need to play it. I do right need now. to play it. Did you Did you see this this photo? Like I, I tweeted a photo uh-huh. on. Um, something that i saw on tumblr and it's just the death stranding difficulty prediction i think i seen i think i have seen like, the video. It was like e- the e- easy out. mode norman reedus is always sitting next to you in real life normal or medium mode guillermo del toro sits down in every chair you're about to sit on in real life <laughs> so you have to sit on his lap whenever you want to sit <laughs> what the fuck does this have to do with this. it? I have seen this photo. I love it. Hard mode. I love Whenever it. you sit down in real life, Mads Mickelson sits on your lap facing you. <laughs> this is a very hard level because you might get a boner, but if you shove him off, you lose. Mads knocks your lights out and you have to start over. This is the setting Kojima recommends playing as it's the most true to his vision. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, he him and him and Mads have been like have you seen all of uh, Hideo's tweets lately? Yeah, they're like, like best buds. Exactly. Him and Mads are like fucking like Maybe Mads did sit on his lap, so I was like, This is my true vision. This <laughs> is what I want everyone to experience. I would pick normal mode though, because I fucking love Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're gonna sit on his lap? Oh yeah, I can sit go. on Guillermo's. <laughs> well, you don't want to do easy mode? You don't want to sit next to Norman Reedus at any given time? Oh, that would also be nice. I'd hug him all the time. But he's already like he's already hugging a baby and he's already like naked. It's like all right, it's fine. Yeah, I just won't look down. <laughs> Whoa! I level, I level and above. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he's just... got two babies now. <laughs> <laughs> that's how chill, that's how babies are made. <laughs> you just look at Norman Reedus's junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, another baby is made. <laughs> It just falls out of a random woman's vagina. <laughs> Somewhere in the world. God damn it, Norman Reedus. He's the main reason why like, there are a lot of babies in the world. <laughs> Norman pops out of nowhere. He's like, hey, what's going on? We, we've oh, gotta, shit. Oh, shit. That means we have to kill Norman Reedus to solve overpopulation. <laughs> no, let's just keep him around for a little oh. while longer. Oh, God. I say. The Illuminati's gonna be coming after him. They want to lower us down to like three hundred thousand people on the planet. But it's okay because <laughs> he's gonna impregnate every single member too. So mm-hmm. they're gonna be like, oh, even the dudes, fuck. dudes are just gonna have shit. Yeah, they're babies. like, hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! It doesn't go from there. <laughs> Holy shit! What is this? I didn't eat. I didn't have any corn. <laughs> I left a little rosebud in there for you. <laughs> Did you get that uh, joke though from like Austin Powers and Goldmember? Like, yeah. fat bastard was in uh in like one of those bathrooms. It's like in mm-hmm. Japan, mm-hmm. and then like, he was just taking a shit, and then he looks back. He's like, "What the? I didn't have any <laughs> corn." <laughs> That's like the only scene that I remember from <laughs> Goldmember. Oh. Uh. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. I um. This is definitely not video game related at all. That's fine. We've got to the point where, like, there is no video game news for me to, to talk exactly. about Exactly. If there you are... haven't realized, this tonight's episode, or this week's episode, is a bit of a... It's just ranty. Yeah, it's it's just, uh, we have no, no direction. Yeah, I don't know where this is going, but, um... Fuck, I completely forgot what I was about to say. You were saying Oh, that, yeah, I have know, a secret, yes. I'm going to be making a Danker Jank video, I don't know when, but <laughs> what I plan on doing nice. is watching every single episode of Pokemon. Oh, f- now, so that's why you were doing that. Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys in on the progress. 
I have not watched Pokemon in like a week and a half now. Dude, I'm gonna have to bust open your door and like save you at some point. You're gonna be an emaciated like corpse on the ground. You should probably tell Zach about that in Dragon Ball Z because like he's yeah. already like almost done with Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, but see, he's almost out of the woods. Can and- you imagine having to wait and watch one episode every Saturday morning? And there's like what 300 episodes in there's Dragon a lot. Ball Z. I don't remember exactly. How I don't many. know how the hell people can like wait every Saturday morning just to watch well, that's how, Dragon Ball Z. That's how kids were back in the. Uh, back I guess in I, day. I guess I was super patient with Pokemon because mm-hmm. like now I've watched the entire first season of Pokemon, like how it all began. Yeah, but you can binge it. Now. Yeah, I binged it, and I'm like, I cannot believe that. I would wait a week just to see, like, another episode, and, like, the next episode is just completely irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Which, it's boring. I mean, there, here's a disclaimer for all you kids out there, and there should be a general surgeon warning, like, on, like, every website that hosts Pokemon, but uh, do not binge Pokemon. It is detrimental to your health. It's just, it's not a good idea. Well, just don't fucking sit there and watch six hours worth of Pokemon. I mean, I didn't do that. Like, I actually knew my limit. The most I've watched in one sitting was, like, Mm -hmm. at least four. That's, like, what? Like, an hour and 20 minutes? At that point, I'm like, okay, I I can't. I need to fucking stop for now. (laughs) Don't binge watch Pokemon. Do you have any idea how many episodes there are of Pokemon? A lot. It's probably more than shit like Bleach and all that. How many episodes of Bleach are I, there? You know, I don't know. I I I, used, I watched it years ago. Not even all of it. I watched it to a point years ago, and I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> there are, I think, 940-something episodes, not even including the Sun and Fucking Moon anime, Christ. and not even including the 19 movies that they made. Jeez. I tried watching... That's also because I tried watching uh, One Piece years ago as well. That also has multiple hundreds of episodes. It went from... Spoiler alert, I did not finish. It went from, I'm going to be King of the Pirates to something completely different. It's not I, even about the treasure anymore. I don't know. It never know. was anymore. I, it's like, it, it went to the point where it's like, who's stronger? That's how they all go. All these, because they, they, they run out of ideas. They run out of what made the show, like interesting in the first place and they can't further that plot line so Mm -hmm. they just basically go to let's have all these established characters that the fans have now uh made like whole backstories to themselves and fan fictions run rampant and we're just gonna have them fight each other yeah just fuck it why not yeah now what i want from pokemon i know this isn't gonna happen but it'd be a really cool idea (laughs) pikachu battle royale to the death no 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 (laughs) it would be cool if Ash wasn't 10 years old, Mm -hmm. and he was an actual full-grown adult. Yeah. Having to deal with, like, real-life hardships. Let's get a fucking, let's get a, let's get a series where he's one of the Elite Four masters. He's made it. He's in the Elite Four. Give us a TV-14 rating, at least. And it's the kids, it's the, it's, it's now he's the master, and it's all the kids coming up and challenging him. Because at this point, I've watched... The entire series of like the XY series, mm-hmm. he doesn't fucking win. He never wins. This is a waste of time. He literally just goes from one adventure to the next, gets to the Pokemon League, loses, and he's like, "All right, you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna go to a new, new, uh, new region, and I'm gonna he's start never, from square one." He just never learns his lesson. Ash, you stupid cunt! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're really angry. <laughs> I've watched yes, stupid to, cunt. I've watched a hundred and something episodes and was expecting like a happy ending, like oh yeah, he won. No, he fucking doesn't. He just loses. He loses. But that's okay. It's about the power of friendship. Fuck the power of friendship, <laughs> man. You're here to win. You understand me? When it comes to Pokemon, <laughs> Red, Red didn't trust his friends. He didn't have any fucking friends. <laughs> He had one goal, and it's to be the best. The best, Ash. You're not the best. <laughs> what? What about this? The slogan "Gotta catch them all." He and doesn't even catch them all. And does he stay perpetually ten years old? Yes. Through all of this shit. Yes. He's never aged. Yes. And there was. I'm not gonna lie. There was one time. I think within like probably like episode forty something in yeah. the first season. He's like, "Wow, it's been a year since our adventure," and I'm like, "I paused it." I'm like, 
That is fucking bullshit. <laughs> you don't look a day you, over ten. You, <laughs> you are supposed to be ten years old, and then in the next season, you're like, I'm ten years old. I'm like, bullshit. He's caught in you a time You said loop. it's been a year. Dude, watch. Pokemon's actually this really hidden, like, like alternate horror genre. And, and poor Where, like, Ash he never stuck, ages? Yeah, he's stuck in, like, some temporal loop. No, but it's like... I want to imagine how, like, every time there's an episode, since it comes on every week, mm-hmm. it's just probably the same day or the next day. So it's like it would make some sort of sense if, like, certain episodes would take take place in the same day. No. Fucking stupid-ass Ash Ketchum is like, oh, it's been a whole year since our, since our journey started. That doesn't make sense, dude. S- spoiler alert, the entire... Uh, animated Pokemon franchise and, and all its series is just one long Black Mirror episode. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> which, <laughs> which is a good show, by the way. One much better than Pokemon. You should go watch that. Yeah. Or or go... I've been watching a lot of fucking Netflix recently. Like, go watch that. Go watch fucking The Frontier if you want to see... Uh, I think it's Jason Momoa is his name. <laughs> Cal Drogo from... from uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Like, go watch him play a half Native American person. Like, apparently that's the only role he can get other than being Cal Drogo. He has been typecast as Native American. I thought you said Calzongo. Calzongo. <laughs> Cal Drogo. <laughs> I just imagine you saying Calzongo. He's on the horse that mounts the world. <laughs> um, exactly. But the Frontier, that's a great show. I just started watching Lemony Snicket's uh, uh, a series of unfortunate events, the the Netflix series, not the fucking terrible t- uh, movie with Jim Carrey as uh, Count Olaf, but uh, but the much better Netflix series where Neil Patrick Harris, uh, NPH, you know, blessed be he, um, as Count Olaf, and it's very. I like I like the look of the aesthetic of it. It's it's very, um... Fuck, it's... It's very fuck. It's very... A uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go, like, somewhere completely off topic. And I just reminded myself of the horrors of what happened last year. Probably, like, maybe September or early October of uh, 2016. Mm-hmm. So... I don't think I told Wes you Ander- about this. Oh, Wes Anderson. I was trying to say it's very Wes Anderson esque. The series of unfortunate event. I f- I forgot Wes Anderson's name for a second. I love Wes Anderson, but please go on. Okay, so <laughs> uh, there was a time on Twitter, yes, uh, a few months back, mm-hmm. where <clears throat> I was browsing and I just decided to check the uh, the trending list because it's usually about the election or mm-hmm. some some stupid like trend that some like some teenagers made up yeah but what uh what uh what confused me was that the number one trending thing was mcchicken and i'm thinking okay that's kind of weird like why why would the mcchicken be trending did they change like did they find out what's actually inside a mcchicken did did they change like their style or anything like that? So I was curious. <laughs> with chicken is people. <laughs> like, why would the McChicken be trending? God behold, right after I clicked it, the first video was just a 20 second clip of something. And I'm like, this doesn't look too good. So I click on it. I was expecting first mistake. Obviously, big mistake, but <laughs> my curiosity got the best of me. I clicked on it, and it was literally. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. A, it was a twenty-second video of a black guy fucking a McChicken. <laughs> 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 I'm not making this up. There was a time where everyone was going crazy over a video of a guy fucking a McChicken. He literally just had the McChicken, 
stuck his dick between like the patties and the chicken. He just started going at it. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> you gotta add that. Why, to place, dude? Why? <laughs> Why is this trending? Why? 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 <laughs> Why is this trending? <laughs> because what the fuck. That's amazing. That is disgusting. Everyone, everyone should see a twenty-second video. At that point, of a dude, fucking. I'm McChicken. like, I, I literally told myself I'm not gonna have a McChicken anymore <laughs> because I'm gonna. Every time I look at a McChicken. I'm gonna get reminded of that one video and then at the of end, that guy fucking at, a McChicken. At, at the end of the video, it cuts to just the logo and ba -da -ba -ba -ba. it says, I'm loving it. <laughs> He's literally loving it. <laughs> Making love to it. <laughs> to a fucking McChicken, dude. Oh, how's that even... I'd imagine the bun... I mean, he has to be going very carefully. No, that bun's gonna... no. He just went... Buck wild <laughs> on that McChicken. <laughs> I, I showed that to Bash, and then he looks and he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> he just went buck wild. He did! Oh, I can't he went imagine. crazy. Real crazy on that McChicken. I can't imagine. Uh, that thing, like the structural integrity of that McChicken holding up for a good, very, like vigorous fucking, like how's that structural integrity going with that McChicken? Like how how's he keep like, uh, dude? I'm not gonna fucking elaborate it. It's literally a video of a man fucking a McChicken. I kind of need to see this video now. Do it on your own time. I'm not gonna show you. Just, Look it up yourself. Just, just play the audio for You're the podcast. No. <laughs> you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> there was no noise from the guy. It was probably him, like, probably lose, losing his breath, maybe, because he was so into it. I'm guessing. <laughs> so, something about that big chicken make me horny. <laughs> it made me horny and hungry. Hungry to fuck this thing. Fuck in peace. <laughs> Fuck in peace. <laughs> yeah, so earlier today, that that, just, I, just, I just popped in my mind. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go again. <laughs> I, I thought I was over the trauma. I thought I was done with that. But no, uh, it, it's still in my mind. Oh, my God. Sadly. That sounds truly life-changing, seeing that. <laughs> Even Philip DeFranco had to talk about it. He's like, why am I talking about a man, a, a man fucking a McChicken? And I'm like, dude, same. Why am I even... I'm so... I, I'm I'm glad and disappointed that I missed that on Twitter. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I am conflicted <laughs> that I didn't see this. You did see it, though. But I did. I did see it. You didn't, <laughs> but I did. And oh. See, you're so conflicted. Your message. <laughs> oh, that sounds awesome. And no, it doesn't. Horrifying. It's more horrifying than awesome. I don't eat McChickens, anyways. So, Yo, dude, okay. I haven't eaten a McChicken ever since I watched that video. <laughs> Cause like, there's mayo inside, and you're like, oh no, where could that mayo have been? Well, I mean, now you can't be sure what's mayo and what's uh, you know what's smen, <laughs> as what Ryan would say. Smen. <laughs> oh, I just love that something like that in the midst. Well, I mean, th think about it this way: in the midst of all that's going on, uh, all the just doom and gloom of Donald Trump and and the doomsday clock being moved closer to midnight and all that shit, and and that one brief res respite where one day everyone stopped worrying about politics and. And and equality between the genders and races and and just enjoyed the, a video of a man fucking a McChicken. The world became a simpler place, almost more innocent, except for the fact that there was a no. Man they people him. lost their innocence when they saw <laughs> that horrid video. I don't know why I'm still even talking about it. Why? Why? <laughs>
That's all I can the say. The world may never know. Yeah, right. This is a... This entire episode is brought to you in part by uh, Tootsie Roll <laughs> and the Tootsie Pop. <laughs> I'm not smoking. I'm smoking. It's the day or whatever they say. What? The fucking anime. Like, this is brought to you by, in Japanese, before an anime. Oh. Tokyo is supposed to be a day or something. Gummy Wa. Grandma sponsor no Tokyo Day or Christmas. <laughs> It sounds very familiar, don't you think? <laughs> oh, Christmas. <laughs> grandma, but grandma sponsor no Tokyo Day. <laughs> oh, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> oh, McDonald's and Sony. Sony's always one of them. <laughs> <laughs> if only, my friend. Oh, Jesus. That, that's beautiful. Uh yeah, I mean that that's all that's been occupying my mind. Yakuza and today. Chicken Yakuza fucking. Yakuza Zero and that stupid McChicken video. <laughs> Nothing much really happened this week. Yeah, no, I've I've literally just been in the house watching I finished watching the entire first season of The Frontier and uh and fucking uh started watching, you know, series of unfortunate events. Uh other than that, it's been a very, very dull week. I'm pretty sure I could, I could uh, open up Reddit here and find something. <laughs> but <laughs> it got to the point where we have to actually look up sources right while we're recording. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's just go with the very first thing on our games. Square Enix and Marvel announced I told the multi-game part. God damn it. Oh, 67 days until the release of Persona 5. That's nice. <laughs> Nino Kuni 2 coming to Steam. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, I still haven't finished Nino Kuni 1. None of this is Nintendo Switch. We already everyone's already like loved and then hated the Switch. There's no reason to talk about that anymore. Everyone's heard about the Switch by now. It's like there's no point in talking about it. It's not like this is going to be your first place to find out any news yeah. related to it's the gonna be Switch. it's gonna be a disappointment spoiler alert end of story slash thread yeah I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie it, it's, nowadays. it's um just don't buy it just don't just don't buy it don't buy it day one at least people are gonna buy it it's cause it's got they're holding N- actually no 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 cause uh, the new Zelda also comes to Wii U yeah don't buy it <laughs> don't buy it, buy it. Don't buy it. If, don't buy I, it if you're the one. kind that are, are thinking about buying a Nintendo Switch day one, you're probably also the kind that also went and bought a Wii U, you poor fucking idiot. So That's on day one. Exactly. So just get uh, Breath of the Wild on Wii U. If you still have your Wii U, of course. Yeah, if, has, yeah, if you didn't throw it out the window in, uh, in disgust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's that fucking... Did you hear about the Monster Hunter movie? There's a. There's going to be a Monster Hunter yeah, movie? Yeah. What? This, this is actually... This is old news. Uh, I just thought of it because there's a Monster Hunter thread right here. But, um... But, uh... It looks so terrible. It looks so terrible. Like, you, you, you don't really... You, have you played any of the Monster Hunter games? I know of the Monster Hunter series, but I don't okay, play Okay, I've played quite a bit of it. I've spent a lot of hours in Monster Hunter. And, um... And I was thinking when I heard, oh, a Monster Hunter movie, that could be awesome. Um, you know, it'd be great. It's like another fantasy series and stuff like that. Like big ass monsters, big ass swords, fucking just fantasy world. Ah, oh, I love fantasy. And then I looked at the details. No fantasy. They're bringing the fucking Monster Hunter monsters to fucking attack like New York and modern day shit. It's so stupid. <laughs> My first question when Zach showed this to me, I was like, who's directing it and is their name Uwe Ball? And he's like, no, it's not Uwe Ball. I'm like, because it, it sounds like it's fucking Uwe Ball. But no, it's the guy who makes, makes the fucking Resident Evil movies. Why the fuck would you bring the Monster Hunter? Why would Rathalos be tearing up LAX? <laughs> That's, that's the photo. It was fucking Rathlos just destroying LAX. Why the fuck is there a Rathlos in Los Angeles? 
<laughs> it's a fantasy world. It's, no, it's the real world. You just brought fantasy in. The- it's La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring Ryan Gosling and Emma and, Gosling. and whatever the fuck her name was. Emma Stone. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, it looks so dumb. It literally... Don't ever raise your expectations for... I just movies can't that imagine. are based off of video games. I know, I know, but you want it to make it cool. You want it to be good. It's not gonna be there's, good. Well, there's, see, there's they're starting to have steps in the, you know, towards the general vicinity of the right direction. <laughs> so they're but, technically still lost. Yeah, they're still lost, but they're you know they're starting to they're get the get... hang of the compass. Oh my like, god! It's <laughs> it's starting to. Uh, to just to make sense of the you know the the NS and W and E they're finally figuring out what those stand for. But, oh, um, East! I thought you said Weast. <laughs> but uh, but this is such a huge step back. This is literally like like an Uwe Boll's House of the Dead or 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 fucking Postal. Like <laughs> it, I forgot about Postal. Yeah, did, like did wasn't Vern Troyer the guy who played his mini me in Postal? I think he might have been. I, I don't know. See, I, kinda... I remember seeing the DVD at a 99 cent store a oh. long time ago. And I'm like, yeah, I can imagine this thing being here of all places. And I saw Vern Troyer in there. And I'm like, huh, why the fuck is he in here? It's just. It's like, I'm never going to know because I'm not going to fucking watch have you ever, it. Did you ever play the game Postal? I didn't play it personally, but I did I see have. a lot of gameplay of I've Postal. I've played a lot of Postal too. I, I used to play and Apocalypse Weekend. I, I played the shit out of that game a lot. I used to love just running around pissing on things. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, it makes it's such a step backwards. Why, that, dude? That's Hollywood for you. That's Hollywood. They don't well, give a shit. Well, it's, it's not it's, even Hollywood. It's an Asian dude making it. Oh, oh! I'm not being racist. I'm just no, saying no, no. it's not. Just, um, stop making fucking movies based off of video games have you like did you even know anything about hitman 40 agent 47 did you hear how bad it was with timney oliphant in it it was fucking terrible i have that movie actually why why do you have that movie i like timothy i like timothy oliphant (laughs) the whole point of agent 47 is to be secretive he's a hitman right Mm -hmm. he does nothing secretive in that movie he's just Gunning everything that's in his way. Yeah. That's not what you're supposed to do as a hitman. <laughs> that's what a but fucking mercenary does. Explosions and and fucking J.J. Abrams and fucking... You know what you need to do? You just need to kill Santa Claus. Like what they did in that hitman game. In the newest one. Get rid of Marv. Get yeah, rid of Harry. That was great. I didn't actually play it myself. Um, they don't look like Marv and Harry from Home Alone. It's just Alone. the names. It's just the names. I just find it really funny how they actually yeah. put that in That's there. That's awesome. That was awesome. And there is a way where you can actually get Santa Claus. Get, I saw you, a oh, video Get him of, doesn't kill him? Like, I saw Vash kill Santa Claus. <laughs> a little part of he me just, died he, that day. No, he just popped up out of nowhere and there was like an explosive bomb underneath him and he just fucking lost right after he magically appeared. I'm like, you killed Santa Claus! How dare you! <laughs> fucking, um... You maniac! <laughs> There's a... I was talking to a person, um... Uh... Several weeks ago because an Uwe Boll came up again and, uh... And they said that they, uh went to one of those pre-screenings. You ever been to a pre-screening for a movie? It's Uh-oh. where they they show a movie when it's like not quite done and um and uh and they it's get It's just it's just a hard it's like, hard edit, right? Or a hard, yeah. or a and hard copy. Yeah. They get audience like, impers- like impressions from it, basically for like advertising purposes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um I went to one with my friend David for fucking Jonah Hex. Fucking terrible. The dude hated me too because I told him that. They're like, "Oh, how'd you like the movie?" And I was like, "It was not good." I just said it to him like that was not a good movie, and he scowled at me so hard. And I was like, "I don't fucking care." <laughs> uh, but uh, hey, do you okay? Are you ready for some constructive criticism? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It fucking sucks. Sucked. 
That's not kill yourself. That's not constructive <laughs> criticism. I know. I just wanted to say that so you would think I was going to give you cr- constructive criticism. I'm just saying it straight up. I just it needed sucks. you to be to be receptive for the fucking suck. <laughs> so start over and do it again. Do it again, but okay. better this time. Yeah, just do a little better. So I'm sorry, a lot better. There we go. It sucks. <laughs> so they went they went to this pre-screening. I forgot which of Uwe Boll's movies it was. Um, but it was an Uwe Boll film, and uh, was it? And terrible? they were. Oh, of course it was terrible. It's Uwe Boll, dude. So at that point, you're like Uwe Boll, more like Uwe Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, anyone here? I mean, if you're listening and you're not familiar with Uwe Boll, he is an absolute shit filmmaker, and he s- makes films about. Video games, like he he takes video game IPs and makes shit films out of them. He apparently has some other like non video game related stuff that had moderate success, like aren't complete piles of shit. So yeah, apparently, like not Mario Kart. Yeah, <laughs> apparently when he does uh, films and stuff about things that aren't video game related, they're um they have they have the ability to not be shitty. Oh oh, oh hear that. Yeah, that's the police coming after you because Uwe Boll just called it on you. Well, this actually—that's actually he would because these these guys, you know, the movie started sucking. So in the middle of the movie, they were joking to each other, like just making fun of the movie. Little did they know, apparently, Uwe was sitting behind them. Uh, and uh, when they were leaving, they were approached by Uwe Boll, <laughs> and Uwe apparently. Uh, I've all heard this. Not this is not my own thing, so you know, don't sue me. But I heard him basically that he was he went up to him. He had a cigar, and he was very hostile. It's like, what the fuck do you know about making movies, you piece of shit? And like, even though I, I give him a French accent when he's German, but um, uh, but yeah, he was just basically telling him like, you don't fucking know what you're talking about. Now he's fucking hispanic what the fuck am i doing you're not really good at impersonating i am not people. i am terrible at impersonating <laughs> i like like <laughs> fucking <laughs> you suck more than a worse goose <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah he came at him no like, at that point like, I, if uve bull came at me and then said that i'm like dude your movies suck more than a fucking dyson vacuum <laughs> Germans made Dyson vacuums. You suck more than that. With new airplane technology. <laughs> With new revolution technology. <laughs> that can revolutionize the world of vacuums. With new, we are very sorry for the Holocaust technology. You. <laughs> um... It does more sucking. And like his public, his like his like agent or someone came up and was like, sure, like, no, this way, Uwe, come and go. You gotta go. You gotta leave. Uwe. No, and I'm not done. <laughs> and they're like, we're very sorry. We're very sorry. <laughs> At that point, I'd be like, no, nah, don't be sorry, because I just found myself a great story to talk exactly. about. Exactly. <laughs> I could imagine that too. He's a short, little, ugly German man who who looks like he gets pissed all the time. What do you know about? <laughs> Apparently he doesn't know much about making movies since they're what all terrible. What do you know about? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know what I don't know what you're trying. I to can't do impersonations. I'm sorry. Anyone who has to listen to that, I cannot do voices. Like when I when I try to do a specific voice, it never happens right. And then I'll be able to do uh, a voice when I'm not trying to do a voice. It's weird. I I can't do it on command. Hmm. That's tough. Yeah, it's, it sucks. Like it sucks more than a Dyson vacuum, and it sucks more than Uwe Boll's movies. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks hard. Come at me, Uwe Boll. I don't give a fuck. I'll probably punch I don't even you. Know what, I don't even know what he's doing nowadays. I can probably punt him and then get make the field goal. I think the dude's like two foot three. I mean, shit, <laughs> dude. At that point, if he's two foot three, I'm like what six foot twelve. <laughs> If he's 2.3, I'm packing 12 inches. <laughs> if he's a C cup, then I'm packing 12 inches. Oh. I'm packing a foot long down there. Oh. <laughs> Just swanging dick around. Not swanging, smanging. Smanging dick? Smang. Which I wouldn't, is a term I wouldn't to say wanna, smash it and bang. I wouldn't want to have a dick that big. No, I believe I wouldn't either. 
Yeah, like you can't. That looks terrible. You can't fuck in peace. <laughs> fuck in peace. <laughs> fuck in peace. <laughs> like, that's uh, not happening. Forget about can't it. Can't even get it up. Mm-mm. Sucks. I mean, you could, but your stamina probably goes right out the window seeing as how all the oxygen is being diverted down to your dick. There's no pee pee left. <laughs> You can't use that move. It's out of pee pee. It's out of pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I how I want to know about the reviews of of the Bye Bye Man. Like it recently came out, and I want to know how good. Bye or how- Bye Dinosaurs. <laughs> that's what. That's how they died. They thought about the Bye Bye Man. Bye 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 Man. <laughs> That has got to be the dumbest fucking name for a horror movie. I cannot be scared of someone called the Bye Bye Man. (laughs) Sorry, I heard the name again. (laughs) It's like and the fact they're trying to make it sound like it's uh it's supposed to be the new face of Friday the Thirteenth, and at that point I'm like, no, (laughs) no, not even close, dude. How the fuck? Like it sounds like a th- it's like a third grader's attempt at writing a horror a horror story, <laughs> as they're like the director's okay, son okay. wrote a fucking. You want to see what the rating was on oh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes? What's the rating? Twenty two percent. Nice. <laughs> the audience was actually being a little more nice. They gave it a thirty percent. Oh, dude, so generous. I know, right? It's so great. Uh, he killed right before he kills you. He's like, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Mister the Bye Bye Man. <laughs> That's so. See, dumb. one of them uh, says, "What it lacks in originality, it makes up for in a few good jumps, but the lack of story and scares leaves you thinking and not saying anything good about this horror." Fuck that person, not just because of their grammar, but uh, for the fact that they think there's such a thing as good jumps. Jump scares. No, I'll I'll show you a good jump. Oh that, shit, you cleared like jump. an inch. That's a good jump. That's a good jump. <laughs> Fucking if you actually love horror, then you don't, can't don't like watch the bye. Yeah, don't watch the bye bye man for one. <laughs> and don't watch It Follows either. It follows <laughs> is it follows this has become a movie podcast now, god damn it, here we go. Okay. It follows, and this is is um, you got me triggered. It follows is such a <laughs> shitty horror movie. It's such a th- Thinly, thinly, poor thought out metaphor for sexually transmitted diseases. That, what? That's what the movie is. Really? Yes. The thing that follows people is an STD. It can only be given to people through sex. That's, that's how the fucking thing follows you. You have sex with someone where it follows them, and you then it follows you, and the only, only way to get a... No one else can see it, and the only way for you to get rid of it is to, is to fuck someone else. And pass it on that way. Is, that's literally the thing. I'm not. I'm not making shit up. It's literally you have to go fuck someone. Is that the whole premise of? It's. It's. It's stupid. It's. It's a. It's a very poorly thought out and 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 and, and terribly executed metaphor for STDs. It was like the Mormons tried to make a fucking horror movie. It's stupid. I like this one though. Spell his name. You won't be laughing when he kills you. The eye cup man. <laughs> the eye cup. <laughs> um, Spell it. <laughs> oh, he's just in the back. Oh no! I C U P. Oh, <laughs> the lights go out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd probably be fucked up if you like just posted a piece of paper in one of the bathroom stalls. Is like spell this word, and then like when they say it, you turn the lights off. You're like, oh, you said it. So the eye cup man's out to get you. <laughs> I'm get back. The, so, so to go back to the point though, um, jump scares are cheap, shitty ways to try to make something not scary scary. Of course, someone's gonna jump when it's been quiet, and then all of a sudden something just something very loud pops up, in like when you're not expecting it. It's human reaction to jump. It's a, it's an evolutionary uh, mechanism for survival. When you jump, you know, whenever when, when you were a kid, like don't flinch, and you'd fucking swing, like try to punch at their face, and you wouldn't actually hit them. And if they flinched, you got to hit them twice. Of course, they're gonna fucking flinch. That means you've got a healthy fucking survival instinct. Um, 
But, I digress, uh, that kind of shit just cheapens horror. Now, I shouldn't say it doesn't have a place, because if you've watched, like, the original fucking, like, Paranormal Activity, that's when it can be done, you know, well. When there's, when there's a, a, a tension, an atmosphere built up, and where the jump scares only help to accentuate the, 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 the terror in the, in the, the actual feeling of the the movie itself then you know then that's acceptable then it can it serve a like a, a good purpose like it's 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 uh it's it's, it's their only places mm-hmm. too much nowadays in uh in in both games and uh and movies is just all jump scares like we'll have we'll have 30 minutes of expository dialogue and then we'll just f- Flash something on the screen real quick. Uncomfortable silence. Yeah. And then a random jump scare, and then that's when people go, That's not horror. That's a good movie. No. That's a (laughs) terrible movie. If you think it's a good movie because of that, then go fuck yourself. That's a terrible movie if it resorts to... What about the movie that we watched? Didn't we watch Annabelle? Didn't you remember the the lady that looked like Oprah Winfrey that saved the day? Yeah, dude. Oprah saved the day. Oprah saved the day. And then, like, at the very end, it was all quiet, and it was zooming in on the doll, and then everyone was like... And then it just turned, cut, cuts to the credits. And I started laughing. <laughs> I forgot. And about then I that. heard some people were like, "Oh, what the fuck, <laughs> dude!" Those people in front of us were so scared too. Woo! 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 Oh shit! Yeah, like what the fuck? When they showed the actual demon, I was like, "Are you serious?" He's literally a cartoon version of the devil. <laughs> he looks exactly like any cartoon depiction, like single goatee, horns, and he little he smile. It's fucking he stupid. Smile. The little he smile. You know, you know, you know smile. who makes that? You know who else makes that smile? He man. <laughs> he makes that smile. Oh, like that's, that movie sucked. The Conjuring, on the other hand, which is still in the same vein, was decent. It was all right. Just don't say his name because if you say his name, he's you're gonna start laughing. That's so dumb. The bye bye man. Who the fuck even thinks bye bye? <laughs> how often do you think in your fucking in your day to day? How often does the phrase and you're you know you're you're older than five years old? How f- often does the phrase bye bye enter your fucking head? How often are you saying to people bye bye? And if you are, stop it. Get some help. Thanks. Stop saying bye bye. Say goodbye like a fucking adult. Or fucking person older than five. Right there. See, the Bible man See the Bible man is a fucking very bored uh, ghost. Because there's no one thinking his name. You know how excited <laughs> he gets when someone thinks bye-bye? He's like, oh, 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 oh I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> While he's doing that, he's basically beating off. Basically. Basically. Because no one ever fucking thinks about his if, name. If there, ever, if there was a time where I was like in that movie and then they say... Don't ever say his name. I'd be like, why would I say that? I'm not five years old. No one wants to say that. You know how old I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> and I just turn turn the topic into like me being angry at them. <laughs> how dare you come into my fucking house telling me not to say this word? I don't even think about that word. Nobody does. Only it's th- not a threat. The only problem would be though. Is that in in the process of telling them, I don't even think about that word. You think about you that think word. about the word. That's see, so that's how it gets out, you. They're out there to kill you. That's general. how it gets you. You'd normally never think of by like the bye bye man, and then as soon as someone says bye bye to you, say why you got to fucking say that. Now we're both dead. You happy? Now I want. Now we're both uh, dead. I, I want a spiritual successor, and I want it to be called Night Night Dude. <laughs> and it's like. It's night night, dude. Bye bye night night. <laughs> it's Betty bye bro. It's, it's the Betty bye bro. It's not even a horror. It's not even a horror movie. It's bedtime, bro. It's nighty night, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna do that to Zach. <laughs> the bye bye. No, I guarantee you. First night, I'm like, it's nighty night, dude. It's it's, be- it's bedtime, it's bro. <laughs> it's, it's Betty bedtime. It's Betty bedtime, bro. <laughs> 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 Fucking uh. It's just so... T- I mean, I laugh, but it's so disheartening to see the state of horror nowadays. Anything where shit that's like PG-13. Like, PG-13 horror movies are just so watered down to me. Why the fuck... Why the... Everything is PG-13 nowadays. It's so stupid. Fifty Shades of Grey's fi- PG-13. Exactly. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> I mean, everything nowadays... They say it's for profits. PG-13... 
like the most amount of people will see it. At, when it's R, you cut out a an amount of people that can go see it, um, and and so you limit your profit. So everyone, so all the film um, companies strive to make movies PG thirteen because it maximizes profits at the fucking detriment of movies themselves. Hor- it's a fucking horror movie. It's not meant to be PG thirteen. You're not meant to cater to fucking kids. It's a horror movie. You know what's scary for them? Dropping their fucking popsicle! <laughs> no, I think the scariest movie ever is Juno. <laughs> oh, that is terrifying. <laughs> teen Pregnancy? That's a, that's a teenage horror movie. Make that PG-13. That's a teenage horror film. But when you want to go got ghosts and shit, show some fucker getting disemboweled. We don't need some dude who's killing five-year-olds because they're saying bye-bye to their fucking moms! <laughs> Just so you know, like, I think you know by now, this guy really loves horror movies. I love horror movies. Horror is my favorite genre of game and fucking film. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I sit here and I just see the genre getting fucked in the ass over and over every day with stupid shit like the Bye Bye Man <laughs> and Slender the Eight Pages. <laughs> and it's time for the Bye Bye Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bye bye man, more like bye bye profit. <laughs> oh, it's so disheartening to see a one's great genre. Oh my god, who made this movie? A candy ass jabroni? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna go watch the Candy Man. Oh great. <laughs> That's good to know, I guess. Oh. Uh. I think I might end it here. Yeah. There's really nothing else to go <laughs> on. Nothing, except just listen to me screaming about fucking... Uh, about the Bye Bye Man. The Bye Bye Man. More I, and I more. I just love the name. It's yeah. Just, it's but just don't so go stupid. watch it. Don't go watch it. If you've got a decent bone in your body, don't don't perpetuate this bullshit. Let, let, them, let the studios know that we need more highbrow, intense fucking... Uh, horror. We need we need to go back to its roots. Stephen King once said, <laughs> he said, and I agree with this. I I'm gonna horribly butcher this this quote, but it's along the lines of this. There's three times. Uh, there's three types of 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 scares. There's horror. There's the gross out, and then there's terror. Horror is being in a room by yourself and being grabbed when you thought that you were alone. The gross out is seeing something like giant insects, uh, something not normal. But terror is coming home only to realize that everything you own has been replaced with an exact replica. (laughs) <laughs> That's fucking scary. <laughs> I'm gonna quote everything you said. I'm gonna put Stephen King's name at the end. <laughs> That's exactly what he said, from word to word. <laughs> I paraphrased. Okay, I paraphrased. Nah, he said he exactly said what you said. said. That's fucking that, scary. Okay, That's fucking scary, dude. <laughs> so we're gonna oh. end it there. We might have some stuff next week. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully something Hopefully happens something that we happens can talk about. Game related that I game, yeah. would find interesting. The Doomsday Clock will tick another minute closer to to Doomsday. Yeah, but at least uh, the video games would be good. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>